Back, the sheet. Yep, 26th of February. 25th of February. 25th of February. Uh, but still, sign up information, if you could get that out, that would be encouraging for all. If you could put your name down, if you think you're available, you can attend, you'd be more than welcome. Spam emails. Now, a few people have reported they've been getting spam emails uh, from our church. The encouraging thing I'm told is it's not actually coming from our church or from any, uh, like our website or any of our correspondence. So please, if you just check really clearly, if you get an email and you think it's from Anglican Church but it's spelt wrong, then it's not from us. So just delete it, don't open it up. And again, there's more information on in the in touch all about that. Now, a new app. And I'm a dinosaur, but I did it. So there's hope for everybody. You would have all received, uh, and if you didn't, again, I'd encourage you to talk to either Helen, David, or Simon, uh, an inv invitation, so a login address and a passport to join up to our new app. Um, there's a lot of information, as I said, that is in the in touch. But if you're finding it difficult, it's something you think you want because there's a lot of information all about uh, those people within our congregation, about the calendar of events, things that are coming up. Uh, it is a great app if you're now somebody who likes to use apps. If you don't, that's fine. But if you need some support, support in, in getting that downloaded onto your phone, then please speak up. There's plenty of young people here that can help you with that. Or if you just take the time, it really isn't that hard. And men at Glen. Uh, there are flyers up the back, just again behind the Andersons. I'd encourage you men, if you're considering it, it's in March, it's coming up quite soon, Friday the 3rd and Saturday the 4th of March at Glen Innes Showgrounds. Um, it's always a great event and it's coming really soon. So if you're not aware of it, uh, please take one of these flyers. Generally, there's a, a good group of men that will go from our congregation and they'll share uh, vehicles to be able to get up there. So please. Uh, let us know if you want to be part of that. We'll sign up and we'll head up and enjoy some great fellowship for men. Okay, our next song. I might ask you all be upstanding shortly. I, for I forgot to mention earlier um, during the Salt and Light Spot. Next week we have some, have some visitors. We're having a Thanksgiving service for two um, children as an opportunity to um, um, share the love of God with strangers. Also, too, I've missed it, it's not in our notes, but the, I've just been given a sheet for World Day of Prayer. It's, uh, it's on the 3rd of March, it will be at the Baptist Church, and the contact person is Pastor Robert Griffith, if you'd like to attend that. World uh, Day of Prayer, 2 p.m. Friday, the 3rd of March. There's some more information here if it's something you're interested. So if you could please be upstanding for our last song. Uh, which is Consider Christ. Drank the cup that was with 
Well, just in closing, uh, today's sermon, um, so well delivered by Simon, gives us so much to think about. To love God, to love God's people. How well are you doing? Is there some work for you to do in this part of your life? Again, I'd encourage you, if you've got questions or you want to speak uh, to someone about this, please seek out and talk to Simon today. He would love to hear from you. I'd like to leave... um, today with these amazing words from Luke 2 verse 14. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to all those who his favour rests. Amen. Please stay with us for morning tea and enjoy some more fellowship.